welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while so if you're new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back welcome back what's up what's up oh my gosh i have so much to share with you guys i took a little break because it was definitely necessary like i definitely needed a break i think brain breaks mental health breaks any kind of break really is just if you need it take it and don't let anyone make you feel bad so your girl took a little break kind of like a big break but i am back and let's get into the tea so as you can tell i'm in a hotel room and i'll give you more information on that soon but i'm here to talk about something that is a little sad and depressing <sighs> y'all i quit my job yes i quit i quit my job so as many of you know i have been an elementary school teacher for the past five years as everyone knows COVID came and shook the world to its core and I was included in that shaking I just it was a really tough decision because I really enjoy teaching I really adore my students I love the career but this past school year the 2020-2021 school year it literally took me out the game even off that school year or the school year that just passed I was nowhere near ready or prepared or mentally in the space to start a new school year like I couldn't do it like my brain couldn't even comprehend like I had to do this all over again and a lot of things were uncertain where I worked you guys saw some of my videos about me complaining or whatever but honestly it was it was a really difficult year for me i struggled a lot especially when it came to being happy when it came to being solidified in my career i just felt like i needed a break whether it's going to be a long-term break a short break that i really don't know because i i'm trying to not plan everything in my life and i'm really trying to go with the flow so that is my plan to go with the flow and see what happens but it's a little heartbreaking like it's weird i see my teacher friends and the back to school ads and all of that and i'm just like wow like i'm really not a teacher anymore but i feel like you know it was one of those things where it's like i'm not actively a teacher but i am always an educator through and through and having that as a background really helped me through my next experience but I will say shout out to all the people who feel burnt out after this last school year and you had the courage and the determination to continue. I, I didn't have it in me. And I feel like that is also a strong decision to make for anybody. Um, if you don't think that you can, like if you, I won't even say if you don't think that you can do it. If you feel as though continuing on to do something will not benefit you mentally emotionally or physically i think it's okay to walk away i think it's okay to take a break we even saw that currently with the simone bile situation and people are slandering her but she made the choice that she feels is best for her and i feel like at the end of the day you have to respect her for that because it could have went a different way and it could have been worse for not only her but also her teammates. We're always gonna live in the what if, like what if I don't get another job? What if I severely regret not being a teacher? So it is what it is. But I will say after quitting my job, I feel great. Like I feel motivated. I don't feel bad. Like I haven't had any bad thoughts and I've gotten so much support, especially from my educator friends because if anybody knows what happens inside the school day and day it is my educator friends all of them that know about the decision that i made have been overwhelmingly supportive and i think that speaks to that speaks volumes to like who they are and also the impact that i have on people that people feel happy to support me and my decisions i will say when I talk about it, I'm like, oh, I went through a quarter life crisis because I just, I just quit my job, right? But it wasn't like a hasteful decision. I didn't wake up one day like, yep, yeah, I'm quitting. And I did talk about, talk a lot about quitting pretty much this entire school year because it was just hard, like virtual and then hybrid and then the expectations. And it was just a lot on me. And 
I am not embarrassed or shy to say that I couldn't do it. So shout out to everyone who could do it because I couldn't do it. So that takes me to, girl, what are you doing in this hotel room? Like, what are you doing? So I am currently in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I'm not going to give you too much because I have some other videos coming out that will explain. But I, before I quit my job, I did start applying for new jobs. I applied for teaching positions in Texas because that is where I was planning on moving to. And that was really slow. So I applied for them in like the beginning of April. And I don't think I've heard anything back to this day. And we are at the end of July. So yeah i don't know and then i also applied to be a flight attendant so when i first shared about wanting to be a flight attendant people like my sister like oh my gosh like you would be so good at it and i was just super nervous because that is so out of my zone like yeah i love to travel traveling is always on the top of my list of things that i love to do but i was like am i really going to make this career change and i really battled back and forth like huh, what are we gonna do what are we gonna do are you really gonna do it but then i started my interview process and i got selected for an interview and then after i got selected for an interview i got my cjo which is your conditional job offer and then they invite you to train it so for the past 32 days i have been in salt lake city utah in this beautiful hotel room you see behind me at flight attendant training and I am ecstatic like I am so proud of myself because coming here or before coming here I just I was like oh my gosh am I gonna survive it and a lot of people say flight attendant training is like boot camp and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret it's definitely like boot camp I feel like I'm in army boot camp but I'm not gonna get in too much into my training experience because you're gonna have to watch my next video to get all of the tea when I tell you I'm gonna give you the ins and out of flight attendant training. Like, your girl, your girl got you. I got you. I got you. But honestly, like, I don't know if I would want to move to Utah, which is one of the potential bases that I could be sent to. But I am a hundred percent solid with my decision to take a leave of absence, resign, however you want to put it, to take that time away from teaching. I'm a hundred percent grounded in that decision. And then having this opportunity come up while in the process of walking away or taking a break from teaching, it it came at literally all the right time. Being here, I've met some amazing people, some super supportive people. So I would not trade this experience for the world and I would not change any of my decisions. It's been great. Utah is a little strange, but overall my experience has been amazing and on the bright side when I have downtime from being a flight attendant right when I have my days off downtime whatever I think I am going to see what it's like to do the substitute life because I will always have that passion for education deep down in my bones but it was time for something different and again I don't regret my decision at all like I am in such a good headspace like mentally in a headspace and emotionally in a good headspace that I can't believe it so yeah to sum all of this up your girl quit her job and now you about to catch me in the friendly skies because I survived flight attendant training can you believe it me 32 days I did something completely different and I'm still in love with it I'm still in love with the lifestyle way more than before I even started training you get to learn so much and yeah just stay tuned for my training video where I give you all the tea all the tips all the tricks all that good stuff okay and with that being said, thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell at the bottom so that you get notified when I upload all of my fabulous videos. And y'all, it's about to get real. Like, y'all thought that I gave you some decent content when I was a teacher? Just wait until you get into my flight attendant life. Like, y'all, I am amped. Like, I can't wait. On that note, 
I'm going to head out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.